congratulations on receiving your new cell bounce unit. By following some simple steps, you will ensure your security system is communicating using the latest technology and will continue to communicate with your central monitoring station. Please remove your cell bounce unit from all packaging. Now, let's decide where your cell bounce can be placed. It must be within 25 feet of your alarm panel's communicator. Please note, there are two types of alarm panels that you may have. One has the user interface and communicator built into the system and may look like this. The other is a beige cabinet that may be installed in a closet, basement, or other location, not out in the open, and may look like this. This panel will have a separate communicator that may be in a different location. If the communicator is mounted to the panel or next to it, you will place the cell bounce device within 25 feet. If the communicator is not located on or near the panel, please contact your security dealer to learn the location of the communicator. The cell bounce unit will need to be placed within 25 feet of that device. Now, find an outlet within 25 feet of your communicator that is not controlled by a switch on the wall. The unit should be placed with all four LED indicators facing up in an elevated location approximately three to four feet above the ground, such as on top of a shelf or cabinet. Once you know where your cell bounce unit will reside, plug the cell bounce power cable directly into a non-switchable outlet. You should not use an extension cord or power strip. Wait for the unit to turn on and go through its power-up sequence. Once that is completed, a connection should be established and all the LEDs will turn green. This step may take up to 5 minutes, but the unit may also perform a software update which could take up to 60 minutes. You can set the unit down and come back to check on it later. Once the LEDs are all green, please call your security dealer to confirm all signals are working properly. If you encounter any issues, please review the troubleshooting steps on your user guide or contact your security dealer. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.